Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for November 5th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. I haven't mentioned this in a while, but these uh, readings, sometimes they don't come out, you know, they don't happen for like a week. You know, a week later, I will remember, oh shit, that was the reading I just did. You know, I did last week. So keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This is an energy that I'm picking up on today for somebody and not everybody. This reading is for all signs. It's for November 5th, 6th. Could be next week. Could be November 10th. Who knows, right? This is what I'm picking up on today. Somebody, this message is for somebody. This is some sort of celebration, perhaps. This is the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody has lost their passion to fight for something. Their passion to put in energy. It's like, I don't have energy for this anymore. I don't, somebody's lost their focus and concentration. Maybe they're closing down emotionally as well. You know, emotional shutdown. I mean, this is, no, it's, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling all lovey at this time either. You know, I've lost my desire to put in any effort into love even. I'm not sure what that is, but we'll find out. Oh, somebody is releasing. And I think they've been on thin ice for a long time anyway, okay? Maybe they felt left out. Maybe they made themselves, you know, go out on a limb or... Was just feeling insecure, dealing with some of their own insecurities. But whatever is going on, somebody is probably... feeling left out or being left out yeah somebody's not happy I, this isn't I'm not feeling fulfilled at this time somebody is like I'm not finding my wish fulfillment where I'm at so I think I gotta go in a new direction I think it's time for me to go in a new direction they've been clinging to where they're at for quite some time clinging to some sort of memories maybe that's children up there maybe they've been hanging around for the children could be three children but this is about children as well. Somebody is finding the courage to head in a new direction and face opposition. And I think they were teetering for quite some time as to whether they were going to release and move on or not. But I think that it, it's the, the, whatever is happening, it's to the point where They've grown cold. Somebody has grown cold. They have. Yeah. Yikes. So yeah, somebody is is heading out of a situation that is no longer emotionally fulfilling. It's like, yeah, their, their heart chakra has been closed off to a situation. It's, I mean, 
I mean, there's no more, there's no more wish fulfillment here. I'm not happy here. This isn't love. I'm not feeling loved. This isn't what I want. This is insecure. We've been on thin ice for quite some time and it's, I can't keep holding on. I'm letting go. I'm letting go. And it takes courage to let go. So I think that somebody is making a hasty, because the, the Knight of Swords is hasty, a hasty decision to, to make a move and travel to a new destination. That's what it looks like to me. It's like I have to take this into my own hands. Somebody's taking it into their own hands with that chariot card. I, it's time for me to, to master my emotions and, and make that move. Because where we're at, there's no more abundance. There's no more wish fulfillment. I don't have any energy left to hold on. you got to see what's mirroring. No energy to hold on. And they've been clinging to the memories. Could be children. They've been, maybe somebody has been, because it's a child, this could be children, and this is memories, and there's child, this children app in the mix here, okay? Somebody has been staying for the children, and, you know, we have, we have a, this could be a daughter. We also, I mean, we have, this could be a son as well, could be anybody, but this is a, somebody has been staying in an unhappy situation, where there's no balance, no joy, um, no togetherness. It's like this. there's memories, yes, there's memories. But there's no more abundance, okay? And now it's just like... Since there's no more relationship growth here, there's no more relationship growth, it, it's time for me to make a move. So that this is what this is. Somebody is headed in a new direction hastily, finding that courage to break free, to let go of whatever it is they've been holding on to. And, you know, this Three of Cups, this is a... It could be a third-party situation. It could be. But in this circumstance, I don't think it is. I think this has to do with children I really do I think it has to do with children I think it has to do with leaving people behind we're gonna get some clarifiers on that oh, this card just wants to stay down ha 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 divine timing the time is now I've tried to pick up this deck a couple times and that card would not come up, so it wanted to stay. It happened twice. That's a sign. Pay attention to the signs at all times. Somebody is evolving and they're headed towards the ultimate healing. It's time for me to heal. It's time for me to follow my path. It's time for me to bring that balance and harmony and peace back to my soul. Somebody may have, it may be deciding to make some compromises, do whatever they have to do to bring that balance back. That's what's happening. It's like, you know, no, I, I need to, I need to heal. I need to get out of this space. I do, I need to get out of this space where there's no more. And there may be, they've been feeling overwhelmed. And now it looks like they're about to stand up for themselves. Yeah, somebody is, is moving. Somebody's moving. They're they're making a, a... And this is very fast moving. Somebody is making... It's almost like... Oh, God, I can't think for nothing today. It's like my mind is not clear.
And that's what this is. Somebody is, is making almost like an impulsive decision to head out of this less than abundant situation because they realize that they have evolved. They realize that they have changed and now is the time to make that move. They've done all the, the work that they can do here. And they're ready to go have some fun. You know, they're ready to heal. They're ready to... Get to that next level, whatever it is. Yeah, they, somebody has taken the time to really think about this. They've gone within. And it looks like now they see the light. And they're about to follow that light. And that light is leading them to a new destination. Now, I've told you, I think I did in my Let's Talk last night, the Hermit is a Jesus consciousness. Somebody has become consciously aware that they are not who they used to be and that they can't stay here in this situation anymore because it's not emotionally fulfilling. It's not. It's not. And they may have been wait, patiently waiting for the right time. And all of a sudden, the time is now. I mean, this is a divine timing card. And they make that move. They decide to do what they got to do. They were fear, fearing, you know. I was scared to take a risk. This was not an impulsive decision. It wasn't. But now they can't pretend that this is going to get better. They've taken a long time to think about the future. And things have been cold. They've been really... Because, I mean, I just see all these winter scenes. It's cold. It's cold. And maybe they felt like the love has gone cold. This love situation is too cold for me. And I'm ready for some... sunshine <laughs> you know I mean come on now yeah somebody is gonna go on their own somebody is about to choose the lone path instead of staying in a situation that is not love now, it's funny because earlier today I was thinking, right, when like maybe 20 minutes ago, gratitude popped into my mind. I should have mentioned it in my Let's Talk last night. That's how it happened. I was like, damn, you know, I got to where I'm at by having gratitude, being thankful. This is a card of gratitude. I think that somebody has realized that this time, wherever they've been, that time is up and that they are probably grateful for the experiences and now they just want to enjoy the finer things independently. Nines are also about closure so I feel like somebody is absolutely, and this is a nine too, closing a door. And this is a loner, and this is a lo somebody is going on their own. I'm going to do this on my own. And it's going to lead to that ultimate abundance and satisfaction. Satisfaction. 
So, yeah, I feel as though there is a person that is has been afraid to take a risk, staying in a situation perhaps just for the children, not wanting to upset the children. I don't know. Or for the grandchildren even. Something to do with children. Somebody is been reluctant to fly, reluctant to fly away, holding on, but now they've come to this point of, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, because there's no more relationship growth, there's no more, there's done, it's over. So I think that they've evolved, they've changed, they're not the same person, and they probably feel as though I'd be, this is the independent person, I am, I'm, I'm, I'd be better off on my own. I feel like the storm is over. Somebody is about to face their insecurities and quickly move in a new direction. That's what it looks like to me. They've been, been, been trying to avoid it for quite some time, blocking it. Blocking it. Protecting themselves. Trying to protect themselves. Now they have to make a choice. Do, do I stay where I'm at or do I go? I mean, that's what this is. Somebody may suddenly, like I said, this could be sudden. Somebody may suddenly decide to go. They've been restless. They've been discontent. But holding on. Probably out of fear. But now, they're like, no, the time is now. The time is now for me to take this mask off and face the truth of what this really, really is. If I'm feeling alone in this situation, I might as well be alone. Yeah, they've been holding on, holding on. The death card reversed. Holding on to a, uh, the inevitable, okay? Holding on, but it's, it's already... It's a dead-end situation, okay? It is. It's time for that, this transition. It's time for this transformation. And somebody has been resisting it, maybe for fear of being alone, Fear of taking a risk. Fear of the unknown, right? Fear of the unknown has hold somebody held somebody back. And somebody has held on right till the end. But now it's like... The situation is too cold to stay. There's no warmth here, really. There is here after you make that move. And allow the healing process to begin. You have to unblock. You have to make the decision to heal. You have to stop being in denial to heal. Denial that you've evolved. Denial that you're not the same person. You're going to have to take that mask off and face your fears about loneliness. If you are single, you are probably still holding on to some memories of the past. And it's hindering your future. 
It's hindering your ability to get a new relationship. And you're still alone because you're clinging to the past memories. This is clinging to the past. If you are single and you don't got anybody, it's because you're still holding on. You really need to think about this because it affects your future. You want to grow old alone clinging to the past? Is that what you want? There's an opportunity to evolve. And receive that pot of gold. But you have to accept some sort of truth. Take that mask off. Unblock the truth. Unblock your heart. And head in a new direction for real. Be your own master. Be the driver. If you are single... And your whole clinging to the past. Maybe you need to let your friends help you. Whatever this is. Perhaps your friends are going to need to help you through this transformation. This is a transformation card. This could be friends. I don't know. Or family. Maybe you need some help. Maybe you need to just get out there and date. If you're single. I don't know. Somebody's clinging to the memories of the past. And it's holding them back from a fresh new beginning. Therefore, they're not getting any offers of love or they can't accept love because of the past. We need the fucking strength card here. Excuse me, I'm sorry. I need to get something about my swearing. We're gonna, I'm going to work on that. <laughs> we do need the strength card. Somebody needs to find strength. This is, this is stand up for yourself. It's time. Woo! The sword of truth, the sword of power. You can take this sword right in your hand. You have the power to be honest, to be truthful, and you're being given this, this opportunity to set the record straight. This is a wake-up call. It's time to speak your truth. And I think that's what's going on. The truth is coming out. And leading somebody in a new direction. <sighs> After they've held on to something that gone cold a long time ago. Perhaps only staying for the children. Or the family or the grandchildren or who knows what reason. Maybe the children don't don't uh, agree. You know, they don't agree with your decision. You know, whatever. It's not about, it's about you, okay? What's going to make you happy? good one that's the card of the day this is exactly what this is too release and surrender we shower you with blessings of our radiant love open your arms and release the challenges that you've held tightly gripped within your hands open your hands and arms and heart to our love and assistance release and surrender <laughs> To whatever it is that you've been holding on to so tightly. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Has to do with memories. The memories will always be there. And that's the truth. But it's time for your fresh new start. It's time for you to stop blocking, release, and surrender. The time is now. Divine timing. Right now. Good luck.